In this video, I'm about to show you how to make subtitles like Mr. Beast in DaVinci Resolve. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is we're first going to drag in our media. As you can see, I have some media right here of me acting like Mr. Beast. And what we're going to do is we're just going to right click over on the sidebar here, right click and select add track. I don't really feel comfortable using the subtitle track. Of course, you can use that. I just find it a lot easier for me personally to just use another video track. You can go up and name it subtitle track and then we can drag in some text. Now the first thing that's always good to do before you actually open up DaVinci Resolve is go and find a font. I got mine off of thefont.com. This is actually a free font and it's uh, Magic Dreams but I think it looks close to Mr. Beast type font. So I downloaded that, I stuck it into my font book and then just reopened DaVinci Resolve a few times and now under text font family to Magic Dreams. You can click on that and as you can see uh, if I scale it up a little bit with the scale over here it is a little bit tall for what a Mr. Beast font would be. So we can unlock this zoom track still under title and zoom the X and that will zoom it so it's a little bit wider. Then when we're done, we can lock it. If it's locked, it'll scale both of these at the same time. If it's unlocked, you can scale the Y or you can scale just the X. I prefer to use the size for actually scaling this up. I can choose a good size here and just type in the first word. Next thing to do is go down and position it using the Y, position it down so it's about where you want it on the screen. After that, you need to be able to cut this text so it matches the words. So bring out your blade tool by pressing B, and I'm just gonna go through here and start cutting to the beat of the words that I'm saying. So after you have all the cuts down, what you wanna do is go through here and actually type out the words. If you have a word like subscriber, for instance, it might be a little big for your liking, so you can go over to the size and scale it down so it fits the screen better. If you need to do some fine tuning, press the N key, so that will unsnap these tracks to your playhead or to the closest cut, and you can freely move them around. Now the fun part begins. From there, we can go over to our effects and we can go up to our video transitions. Now, why video transitions for text? Well, you can use the same video transitions from your videos on your text. In this video, just like that. Really, the possibilities are endless, but what we want is the zoom in transition. We can click and drag that on top of our text clip. And there we have a nice little animation. We can turn the zoom down a little bit if we don't want it to scale that much. We can have a motion blur. I don't think we need a motion blur. But now from there, to get the same effect across all these different clips, click it, hold the Alt button, and drag it across to your other text. Click, Alt, Drag. We can also adjust these text clips to emphasize a point. If we are trying to make a bigger statement, make your text bigger. See, it's subtle, but I made that video text a little bit bigger than this, this text. For this little choppy bit, I don't think I'm going to add any of those effects. Otherwise, it's gonna be too flashy and it's gonna be too hard to read. And we want the viewer to understand the video as much as possible. We can also adjust the text color to add a little different statement as well. If we were giving a warning, we could use a red color. If we are talking about money, like in this instance, we can use a green color. The choice is up to you. And guys, if you wanted to, you can add as many sound effects or transitions onto the video. Make it as custom as you want. In this video, I'm going to be giving away $1 million and just like that, guys, it's super easy. We can edit subtitles just like Mr. Beast. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the short little tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.